Let's discuss several software development models that have been used over the years, namely the waterfall, incremental, spiral, and agile models. Although a bit outdated, the waterfall development model is the classic one, primarily used in manufacturing, where a clear design is produced with predetermined specifications and where production, testing, and maintenance proceed in linear fashion. Unfortunately, this development process did not work well with software development and has been replaced in time with other more effective processes. The main problem was the cost of making changes along the way, which was not a normal part of the waterfall model. To help solve this problem, the incremental design process emerged, replacing the waterfall method, where a small amount of work is done at a time, followed by testing and adjusting as needed in a circular process. Another approach that includes risk analysis as an important step is spiral design, which uses elements of several models in its cycle of steps. In today's software development world, a process called Agile is commonly used, which involves the incremental approach to a great degree, using a feature called the Sprint, where weekly or monthly goals are established and achieved, followed by testing and evaluation, again in a circular process, involving customer feedback. Although widely used, it too has disadvantages, especially when teams lose track of the original goal and drift in their efforts, possibly causing the final project to be much more involved than intended. Essentially, you just need to be aware of all of these development models and issues in teaching students about how to design and to develop a fairly complex software project.